Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Cube360. Wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? I know I haven't been doing videos in a while, but that should change in the next little while. So I don't have anything too spectacular for you this time, but I just thought I'd go through, uh, through my game video game collection here of what I bought recently, so games I bought recently, and uh, I'm also going to go through my PS1 collection. For those of regular followers who watch my own collection videos, You'll know that I mentioned, brief mentioning that I forgot to do my PS1 collection, but I was going to do it in a later video. So I'm going to take that time to do it uh, now as well. So let's quickly go through here, and uh, yeah, let's see what we'll go from there. So today I bought Glass Corps for the Nintendo 64 $10. Awesome game. Uh, also on the 64 uh, trend here, we got Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I picked this game up for $5 from my girlfriend, she had two copies. And uh, we were going through old games and we saw that she had two copies, so I said, hey, $5 for a game. Not bad, eh? Uh, okay, so another game I bought today here. Look at this. Wild Guns. Immaculate copy, look at that. Box is in perfect condition. $25. Bucks. Look at that. A game, little dust cover. It's a... Uh, a rare, rare find. And uh, if you may know or remember, got a copy of Wild Guns here already. So I have two copies of Wild Guns now. With $25, I couldn't pass it up. Okay. So another game I got today in the mail here was Silent Bomber PS1. This is an awesome game. Uh, old school running gun action. Kind of like uh, Contra. Uh, on, on a bird's eye view um, style with, uh, with this little character that has these different kind of bombs like water bombs, fire bombs, and napalm bombs, or whatever it may be, acid bombs, and it's kind of cool. I like this game a lot. I, uh, I, found, I, I first played the demo back in, in the day when PlayStation Magazine gave me those demo discs, and uh, I was on there with the demo, and I have that demo disc still here, and now I have a full copy of the game. Rare game! I may add, I bought it for $16 on eBay. Most for about $30 or $40 usually. Okay, what else do we have here? Ninja Gaiden. Or Ninja Gaiden, depending on uh, who you are. I pronounce it. Potato, potato. Ninja Gaiden, Ninja Gaiden. Uh, this, I got this game for $7. $7 in a local store here in the uh, Vancouver area called Game Deals. Uh, check it out. Ninja Gaiden. Great game. It's a very hard game as well. So that's not a surprise to uh, fans of the series. The Ninja Gaiden series is uh, it's a very tough game, or a very tough series. And they continue the trend. It's good to see that they weren't going soft on us there. Uh, our next game here is a game I did a review on, on the demo, at my last video, actually. Uh, the one that got pretty mixed reviews. It was, it was surprisingly the highest video for this site, but, uh, or this page, but this channel. Boy oh boy, did everyone brag on me for sucking balls and not even knowing how to play and stuff like that. I mean, come on guys. I popped the game in for 10 minutes. Aliens vs Predator. So I bought the full game now. Uh, crazy enough, I actually haven't had enough time to play the single player campaign. I did play multiplayer a lot on, on this version. Um, but going back to what I said previously, you know what, if you don't like my videos, screw you. Like, come on buddy, get out of here, or whoever you are. Um, a lot of people were saying, oh, you didn't know how to punch the Predator, you suck balls. It's like, you know what? I just first popped that game in, played for like 10 minutes, I didn't know the controls, I didn't know the characters, so what else? So what I was looking on the ground. Literally, I popped it in and started recording. That was my review. Okay? I didn't know I'm not a first person shooter master. Anyway, don't want to ramble about that too much. Aliens vs Predator. Looking forward to playing the same player that game. Uh, so that's kind of my collection there on what I bought recently. But I want to add these two here. Um, as Dan, my roommate and friend, uh, has uh, bought these ones as well, so I thought I'd share this. Let's share that as well. God of War collection there. For that's the God of War one and two, and Little Big Planet, both for the PlayStation Three. So we're running out of time here, so we're gonna quickly breeze through. This is the my third attempt at this video now. First attempt was 13 minutes. Second attempt was 11 minutes. We gotta try to get this one under 10 minutes. Okay, Mortal Kombat Trilogy for PlayStation 1. That's great. Didn't happen that the first two times. Contra Legacy of War. 
Luckily, it's a shitty game. Otherwise, it's pretty immaculate. But it's okay. Final Fantasy IX comes next. Look at that. Awesome game. Machine Hunter. Machine Hunter. This is kind of like a loading game. You don't know what loaded? I'm about to explain it to you in a second. Loaded. This game is amazing. Wow. Uh, this, this game um, is kind of like Smash TV meets Contra. It's got a bird's eye view of your characters, and they have these heavy artillery weapons. These big bazookas and machine guns, and they're just blowing guys away. Blood's going everywhere. It's a really cool game, and uh, the soundtrack is even better. The soundtrack is done by an alternative slash industrial band called Pop Eat Itself, and uh, they're really rocking. Uh, the album was Dos Des, uh, Dos Des Amigos or something like that. I have it in my CD collection. Um, a lot of the music from there is on here. It's a really cool game. Do check it out. Probably running out of time here. My alarm is going to go off soon to signify uh, that I'm almost out of time. So let's keep going here. Iron Man and Exo Man Award in Heavy Metal. Just in time for the brand new Iron Man movie. Legend of Dragon. War Games. Def Con 1. It's kind of like a Command and Conquer, kind of a strategy game. With tanks and mecha robots and stuff. It's really cool. Remembering how great this, uh, this system was with PlayStation 1. I think it's the best out of all three of the PlayStation systems. PlayStation 1, Cloud, uh, Kepo, and Game 2. PlayStation 2, I kind of get rid of all my games and really care. Project Horned Owl. This is like uh, the League of Enforcers, kind of Area 51 shooter. Um, it's with anime characters, so you got these giant mech warrior robots and like Gundam Wing kind of characters. Um, that you're shooting at the screen. It's a really cool game. Two players. Uh, you got like an anime story going on as well. I like it. I think it's a cool game. Fans of that kind of stuff should check it out. Um, uh, Monopoly. You don't know Jack. Great game. No one really knows what the hell's going on during it. So wacky. Who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles, Final Fantasy IV, and Chrono Trigger. Amazing collection. Chrono Trigger is probably one of the best RPGs of all time. One up. Let's guess what we have here. Final Fantasy VI. Well, five and six. This is anthology. Final Fantasy VI slash three. Amazing RPG. Best of the Final Fantasy series ever. Who could be Shadow? Captain. Great characters, great storyline, great everything. Next up we have Final Fantasy VIII. This is where the sprites kind of finally uh, got a little bit more mature looking. They didn't have the little cartoon, cartoon. Uh, one minute left, so we didn't have the little cartoony uh, looks anymore. They kind of had uh, human attributes to them, and especially the game Triple Triad. Great card game, hours and hours of fun right there with that game. I think that concludes my PlayStation 1. Collection. Look at that, a minute to spare. I almost have rambled like hell the other two times. Um, but that's that. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with some cool videos. Um, then my next video is going to be a uh, playthrough slash walkthrough with commentary of my all time favorite Super Nintendo games. I'm not going to give it away yet. You're just going to have to tune in and find out. Tune in next time for that. See ya.